Good morning, all. It's the TV Smokey here. It is an overcast Tuesday. Apparently, I'm going to be driving in the rain for the next two days, which I'm never happy about. Not a hell of a lot I can do about it. My whole routine now has changed when I go on the road. It used to be like clockwork. I would leave. I would go to the Starbucks across the street. I would get a vanilla latte and a piece of banana bread. So basically, a sugary latte and a freaking piece of cake for breakfast. And I did that every week. That helped add to my weight and any other issues I may be experiencing. So I stopped doing that. Now I'm going to three ships and I've been getting just a normal latte. So no flavoring in it, so no sugar and almond milk and keeping it healthy. Now this time I brought a bunch of raw cashews and some Bing cherries to eat as my breakfast. So now I've got eh, about an hour and 45 minute drive to my first meeting, which is gonna be a quick one, cause it always is. And then it's off to the next meeting, then the next meeting, then the next meeting. Now normally then I would, I would drive a, a two, two ish hours further away to spend the night so that I can start the day at the dealer that's the furthest away. But he can't meet with me today. So uh, instead of driving all that way, I'm turning around and driving back to pretty much where I start today and then spend the night and I get to do my meetings tomorrow morning early rather than later because I wouldn't be meeting with them until like, I think uh, two and three o'clock. So now I'm meeting with them at nine and 10 o'clock, which means essentially I could be home noon, one o'clock. And, and what's perfect is that there's no, there's not gonna be any tunnel traffic because I'll have been gone, I'll have gone through it earlier. So yeah, so I'm probably gonna be more like one or two because I'll, I'll actually stop and, and have breakfast in the morning after after the meetings so all will be well and that's pretty much it for now so yeah let's go to that first meeting ah. well i think one of the last times i filmed when i was going this way to visit this particular dealer i got diverted off the highway and that's exactly what's happening again right now so i'm going to be taking a I guess a more scenic view to this meeting which is fine. I mean, it's something off the beaten path and I'm still gonna be really early. So it's not like it bothers me. All right, I, I kind of have to pay attention because again, this is not this is off the beaten path and I don't want to get lost because that would suck. So I'm actually kind of hungry too. So I might need to grab something to eat before I head off to my next meeting, but we'll see. All right, kids, this time Dumb Monkey is playing semi-smart. I stopped at a gas station after my last meeting and I'm filling up right now. Last time after my last meeting, I didn't fill up and I ended up almost nearly running out of gas in the middle of the forest. I wasn't gonna let that happen this time. So sadly, it's gonna take me at least two hours to get to my hotel. I'm not gonna get there until in between 6.30 and seven o'clock, which means a late night and I then will need to get dinner and blah, 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 and all that shit. It just stopped. All right, I'm gonna finish getting gas, get the hell out of here. Okay, so not much of an adventure today. It's one of those days where I'm just sitting in the car driving all day. I mean, I guess that's kind of what it's like to be on the road. You just drive all day in between meetings until you get to a hotel. I did not want to get here this late, but unfortunately that's just the way it worked out. I mean, it's shit. It's a quarter to nine and I just finished dinner. I hate eating that late, but okay. So I'm gonna crack this video out really quick. So I'm gonna cut this short. So that's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.